This video is sponsored by All or Nothing Gang Clothing, Gladly Achieving Necessary Goals. This is the type of threads that I like rocking, something that's positive, it fit good, and it's messaging for our urban communities. Make sure you go get your clothing at allornothinggang.bigcartel.com. Once again, allornothinggang.bigcartel.com. That's the website to get some All or Nothing Gang clothing. Let's get it. Yo, Polly Rob, what up? What up? DJ Head went on his show, The Bigger Picture, and said this. Do you think Drake is looking at this and thinking like, wow, even though he did have the opportunity of the Super Bowl, but do you think he is continuously looking at this like, damn, everyone wants me out of here? Bro, I don't feel bad for that dude. Is that what you're asking? You no, ask no, no, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm asking <laughs> if you think in Drake's mind, he's looking at the, no, I'm not asking if you feel bad for oh, that. I'm it, like, do, bro, do the what? optics to him look like I, I don't give a fuck up. what the optics look like to him. He picked a fight. He did pick the fight. What are you talking about? Like, bro, hey, next subject. What I'm saying is, it, the, the sentiment is, woes is me, everybody's teaming against me, it's 20 v 1, bro. Like, bro, you reap what you sow. I'm a God-fearing man, right? You reap what you sow. Nobody, not, I'm not gonna say that, because there are acts of randomness that are, are terrible that happen all over the world. But if you are a victim, a true victim, I have empathy for you. If you make decisions in your life that cause you to have to deal with the repercussions of those decisions, I don't have empathy for you. Oh. I'm fresh out of fucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 yeah. I, you know why? You know why I'm overweight? Because I like cookies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crumble? I've been eating ice cream my entire life. I just started getting eating salads and shit like that. I'd watch this. I don't walk <laughs> around and be like, man, I'm so fat. My stomach didn't know what I'm going to do. What I'm 20 cookies, I'm me one. I'm pre-diabetic. Like, bro, stop <laughs> fucking eating cookies, my nigga. Put the cookies down, if my nigga. If you have a problem with people, if you, have a pre if you have a problem with people galvanizing against you, what have you done to offend said people? Mm. What have you done to, gal to, to garner that kind of response? Rat emojis when it wasn't even warranted. What are you what have you done to garner that kind of response out of, uh, out of other human beings? You know what you have done. Yeah. In the in the in the ether, in the back channels, and the DMs, and the things that you you know what you have done. You know what you're doing. So when you ask a question like, "Are these people teaming up against me?" Well, what the fuck was you doing, bro? Yo, he was Drake was number one in many eyes for a long time. Yeah. Probably the most unprecedented, consistent run ever in hip hop history. I don't right? want to throw no pity party for people who. And I'm not, this is not a personal attack on on Drake. I'm not, that's not what I'm this doing. This isn't Aubrey, this is Drake. This is, I'm not even, I, I don't, I'm not even on Drake right now. I'm just saying, and I don't like this, this woes is me societal mentality that we have where it's like, well, it's, it was 20 versus one, was it? Or did you swing on 20 niggas and run in the room? Now it's 20 niggas in the room. <laughs> Were there any lies told? Was there any lies told? Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes in the music industry. Me, I know all too well. But let's be honest. Some people, whether you're on top or not, whether you got something going or not, there's some people where you could just sense they kind of did something that people don't like. It's like that. I'm not saying that the industry uh, is not finicky, for sure. There's a lot of people that's finicky. But you'll be able to tell if artists or executives or, you know, people in the industry is doing right by other people. There are naturally some stars that are good people. They calm, respectable, they handle their business, and they do their thing. Now, for a long time, it's been said that Drake is someone who kind of does some things that his fellow artists or friends or whatever the case may be don't like. It's been so many rumors of Drake sleeping with somebody's girl. From what I understand, he actually slept with Lil Wayne's girl at a certain point in time, which is crazy because that's the man that put you on. But it's not about that. I'm not about here. I'm not about the gossip. The main thing is to remember is you reap what you sow. When you put that energy out there, it's going to come back to you. I think that's what DJ Head was trying to say. 
when you put the energy out there, you know, if you're the big man on campus and you walking around with your chest poked out, be prepared to get that chest caved in. It's real. And of course, if you're on top, it comes with the territory, there's going to be people that's going to try to knock you down. I think in Kendrick's, uh, you know, his space of competition, I think he's just going for the, if you're the top dude, I'm coming for you. I'm gunning for you. And if you guys watch this whole battle, you've seen that the first person that took the low blows was Drake. He took the low blows. Sorry, it's real. So we have to be mindful of the things that we do, especially in the moment while we're on top or why we have the eyes on us. We have to be careful. We have to be careful. You know, the one thing that DJ Head said that I resonate with is the concept of, you know, it was funny when he was talking about the cookies because that's a real thing. But when you think about it, it's one of those things where when you get so wrapped up in the power, you get so wrapped up in yourself, so wrapped up in people, you know, being yes men and yes women. When you get wrapped up in that stuff in your head, you actually think that there's nobody that's going to test you or there's nobody who's, who's going to force you to come correct. There's very few people in this game that's going to attempt that because for whatever reason, you got the money, you got the power, whatever. But the real ones, they're going to test you. They're going to make sure that you're standing on what you're standing on. What they say, standing on business, it's a real thing. You have to stand on it. And I think that's really what this whole beef is about for, for the smallest right. It's like, are you a man of your word? Are you a, 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 a real a real guy who is stand up with his friends, show love, do right by people, you know what I mean? And, and don't do no snake stuff. That's what a lot of this conversation is about. Because at the end of the day, you got to stand on who you are and your morals and your, your, your sentiment, you know, to, to other human beings. That's more important than anything. You know, you got beef with Ross. You got beef with uh, Meek Mill. You know, you and Nikki fall out. Then y'all cool again. You got beef with Jay-Z. Like, how many people you got problems with? How many people you got problems with? And it's only speculation. I don't know. I have no clue. All I'm saying is, at some point in time, you got to stand on who you are. You got to stand on who you are. And I, and I think that's the reason why, you know, J. Cole, when, you know, it was about to be, it looked like it was about to be a beef between, you know, Kendrick and J. Cole as well. And, you know, the disc record went out and he retracted the disc record. And everybody was on his head like, oh, you're a sucker, or whatever the case may be. But no, I think J. Cole did the right thing. If you don't feel it in your soul to, to make a disc record a disc back, yeah, I understand hip-hop is a competition. It's, it's a sport. I get it. But if it's something that you're forced to do because the people is, is asking you to respond and you don't feel it in your soul, then don't do it. I'm glad he retracted that uh, disc back. The disc was okay, but you can tell by when he was rapping, he didn't really feel it. And you know he has a very high respect for Kendrick. And I'm pretty sure vice versa. Kendrick got a very high respect for J. Cole. You know, Dot is just built different when it comes to competitiveness. He's just built different. So, I think they had a conversation behind the scenes. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But it's one of them things. It's like, it's grown man shit. It's like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to diss you just because people want me to diss you. Like, I really respect who you are and we finna move past that. And he slid out of that situation right on time because Drake got all that smoke. He got all that smoke. Now everybody's saying that J. Cole did the best thing in the world. Oh, he did, didn't he? Okay. 
at the end of the day, man, you got to stand on what you believe in. And you got to do right by people. You know what I'm saying? No complaining when somebody comes after you because you've been doing things that they don't like. It's just it's just what it is. And I've never been in Drake's you know shoes. I've never been in his perspective. But at some point in time, you got to understand and, and, and be at ease with who you are as a person. You know what I mean? Forget the media. Forget about what they say. If you did something wrong to somebody, call that man or call that woman and make it right. Make it right. If you stiff them on some bread, hey, man, you got enough. Give them their bread. If you did something to the, you know, with a girl or whatnot behind their back, be a man. Keep it 100. Have those conversations and nip all that stuff in the bud. Because at the end of the day, you're still a great artist. You still got a lot more great music to make. I would love for you to make a, a, a Jay Z type four 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 where you're going through the whole mental layout of it. I would love to hear all that, not for gossip reasons, but just to clear the air and really say how you feel. I mean, you've made your career of clearing the air with women you've dated. You know what I mean? Like real dope songs. Why don't you do that for all these beefs that's been going on? I think that's something that people might want to hear. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if Drake is the one that's really causing the problems. Or is it just everybody just hating him because he's on top? Y'all let me know in the comments. Let's have a conversation. I love how y'all point, how y'all put the comments down. I'm reading everyone. I'm responding to as much as I can. And I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all got me to 621 subscribers right now. I'm about to get the 650 before the week is out, all because of y'all. Y'all been showing me love. I've been bringing y'all content. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to keep it going. And let's keep it rocking, man. This is the Council Party Rob. You already know what it is. Work love.